kidding. Yeah. Well, he's so giddy to do his $6 million man. I timed it because as I watched it, I was like, wow, this is a long time to commit to this bit. Because he's like, he did it. It started at nine minutes, 40 seconds, and he, it doesn't end until 10 minutes, two seconds. Oh, my god. That is 22 seconds <laughs> of the slow-mo bit. I that, think that's, that's why. That's a ton. When you think of like the whole scope of an episode for 22 seconds, he went. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why I couldn't get through it. That's why they couldn't get a reaction of me because I couldn't hold it for 20 seconds. I couldn't hold a straight face that long. And he was so desperate for you to look at him and have some kind of reaction. Oh, man. Okay. What else? What else? There's the conference room scene. Oh, yes. Where Michael officially announces that there is going to be downsizing at Mm -hmm. Dunder Mifflin. This is a big theme of the pilot. This is the news that Jan gives him when she comes into the office that Dunder Mifflin can no longer support both a Scranton branch and a Stanford branch. And that they're going to have to prove who is the branch that should stay. But even if... Scranton gets to stay, there might be downsizing of employees. Yeah, the company's hurting, and they have to make some cutbacks, and they have to fire some people. Yes, and so Michael goes into the conference room, and this is the first time we see Michael in the conference room, and of course, Dwight won't give him the space to do that. It's their first power struggle, which you'll see for years to come. It's the first time he refers to himself as the assistant regional manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) Which is great. (laughs) And I noticed something about this conference room scene. What? I bet I have it on my note card. I bet you have it. That there are some extras in this scene that are never to be seen again. There are two women. Do you want me to refer to it? Uh, let, Let me just tell you what I wrote on my note card. Okay. Conference room faces, semicolon. (laughs) <laughs> so in the background, mm-hmm. there are two women, mm-hmm. and they are the real production company accountants for our show. Yes, we needed more people to fill out the space, and they pulled in our actual accountants from our production office. Yes, Ken Guapas, the director, walked into the production office and asked if anyone would like to be in the background of a scene, and those two women came and sat there for that couple of hours. They were so giddy. They They loved it. They loved it. They loved it. And then also in the conference room, some faces you might see sprinkled through the first season, but then they don't go past that season are Luann Kelly who worked in the annex. Yes. She is someone that you see a lot. I get asked a lot, who is the lady in the annex? Yes, it's she Lewis. was sort of over where Mindy ends up sitting mm-hmm. yes. by Kelly's desk. And then also, of course, Devin and Creed, who ultimately do have a storyline um, that but will not come until later. season two. That's right. So for an entire season, you just see Devin and Creed in the background of scenes. Mm -hmm. They don't get any lines until the second season. But that is the only scene our actual accountants are in because then they had to go back to work. They did. (laughs) They had to actually go back to being accountants for the show. I think this is an interesting tidbit. Phyllis Smith, Mm -hmm. who plays Phyllis Phyllis on the show, she was the casting associate for The Office. Mm -hmm. So when I auditioned for The Office, she read my audition scenes with me. Everyone, I read my scene with Phyllis. That's who I read my scene with. Yes. And Ken Quapis, the director, was so taken with how she did her readings with She's the actors. She's so earnest, you guys. She is so earnest. And so real that he said to Greg Daniels, I want her on the show. Can I give her a part on the show? And so Phyllis went from being a casting associate, which she had done for years with Allison Jones, the yes. casting director, yes. worked with Phyllis, to having a part on this pilot. And And I think because we all thought the show was going nowhere, it was fine. And after the pilot was over, she went back to being a casting associate. She went right back to work. Phyllis has a great story that she tells that the way she found out that she got Phyllis is that she got sides and they said, Phyllis, you know. So there was a character and they named it Phyllis. And Kim was like, that's you. You're Phyllis. And she was like, what? <laughs> we wrote a part for you yeah, based you're, on you're, the numerous readings yes, with actors. You're now in the show, Phyllis. Which is just 